Welcome to Moomoo Math and Science. In this video, I would like to talk about calculating the percentage change using a gummy bear lab. You can use a regular gummy bear and through the process of diffusion, the gummy bear will get larger when it soaks in water. You can soak a gummy bear in water and it will expand. You can take the measurement before soaking in water and after soaking in water and then calculate the percentage change. As you can see from the picture, the gummy bear increases in size due to diffusion after being soaked in water. You can measure the height and the width and the mass and then calculate the percent change. I will work the math in just a moment. You can use a triple beam balance or a scale to calculate the mass before and after and then apply that to the percentage change formula. Now let's go ahead and work some of the percentage change problems. Before we get started, here's the formula you need to use. You take the new value minus the old value over the old value times 100. So let's work a couple of these examples. Okay, now let me label these. Um, day 2 is going to be the newest value and day 1 is going to be the old value because you start at day 1 and then day 2 you have a new value. So I'll go ahead and plug the numbers in and let's first work length. So the new value is 25 minus the old value which was 10 over 10 and 25 minus 10 is 15 over 10 equals and then 15 divided by 10 is a hundred is 1.5 times 100 equals 150 percent so the percent change was a hundred and fifty percent now let's go ahead and work the width and so the width here and so I'm going to take the new value 10 minus the old value 5 over 5 and that is 10 minus 5 is 5 and 5 over 5 is equal to 1 times 100 is equal to 100 percent so it increased in value 100 percent and finally let's do our mass our new value remember the formula new minus old over old is 7 minus 3 over 3 we have old excuse me we have new old old which is 4 over 3 and 4 divided by 3 is 1.33 percent repeating times 100 so it increased 133 percent anyway that's how you can do a lab or a real life example of percentage change by doing the gummy bear activity. I'll leave a link to a nice lab data sheet in the show notes. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Calculating the percentage change using a gummy bear lab.